Do you like to decorate your beverage center, coffee station, bar cart for the different holidays? Well, if you're looking for some inspiration on how to do that for St. Patrick's Day, then stay tuned. Hi everyone, Pam here from Creative Homescaping. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I post several videos a week on how to creatively manage and decorate your home. In today's video, I am participating in the St. Patty's Day Beverage Center Challenge that's being hosted by Dana of the channel Biddy Boo Brown and Dee of the Feathered Cottage with Dee. Please be sure to check out their channel as well as the challenge playlist, which I'll have linked in the description box down below when it's available. And now let's get on with the rules of the challenge. For this challenge, you had to have several things. Let me read them off to you. The first was a leprechaun, the second, a pot of gold, the third, a shamrock of some sort, and the fourth, a sign. So now let me take you around my beverage center and show you how I incorporated those things into my St. Patty's Day decor. Here's an overall look at my beverage bar area. I have this set up for St. Patrick's Day. And the first thing I'm going to show you is this banner, which I had on my mantle at Valentine's Day. However, I've moved it over here for St. Patrick's Day, and I've just attached it to the counter using these clear command hooks. Then I took these foam pieces of shamrock that I got at the Dollar Tree, and I just stuck them onto the banner. Now, one side has glitter and the other does not. And initially, I was going to use glue dots, I thought, to put them on the banner. But the glitter, when I press it on there, actually helps hold it in place. So I didn't need any glue dots whatsoever. And these have been hanging here for several days now and they haven't fallen off. So I think they're going to be staying just fine. The other thing I did was these banner pieces kept slipping because they're just looped onto this twine. So I took these tiny paper clips that I had from a prior party and I used them to clip the banner in place on the twine. So that's what makes this really seem festive for St. Patrick's Day. And I haven't changed out too much up on the main bar area. Uh, what I did do was add in some picks. I added this pick right here. It's sort of reminiscent of a shamrock. I actually bought these after Christmas one year on sale. They were about 10 cents a piece for the pick. And when you group the three little fuzzy balls together like that, it looks sort of like a shamrock. So I thought that was appropriate to use. And I just have them stuck in this little pitcher that has the stir sticks set in it. Next to that, I have an area set up for Irish coffee. I thought this was appropriate for St. Patrick's Day. Um, and I found this printable online and I just printed it out. And then I used a glue dot to attach one of those same paper clips to this chalkboard sign that I picked up last year at the Target dollar spot. And I did laminate this printable that shows the recipe on it because I wanted to not have it get dirty and I felt that it might get splashed by things. And then I just put some of the ingredients for the Irish coffee here on the counter. Um, brown sugar and this is uh, the alcohol you can put in there. And then next to that I have my two tiered basket here. The bottom tier has hot cocoa in it. I just put this little green and yellow bird in with a green uh, dish towel in the bottom to complement it. And then the upper one, I put a green dish, I'm sorry, a yellow dish towel to complement the yellow in, on the green bird. And then on the upper one, I put a green dish towel and I put the yellow bird with some florals, some more of those fuzzy picks, a rose. And then here is my leprechaun and pot of gold. I found another printable online. I printed it out and this has, you can see he has a cute little face with a shamrock background and this pot of gold. 
In the background there, I have a wooden shamrock. I actually did a DIY on that last St. Patrick's Day. Uh, it was from the Target dollar spot. It was plain and I made it look more distressed. So that's an overall look at my beverage bar for this St. Patrick's Day. I was able to put this together basically for one dollar because I the only thing I bought new specifically for St. Patrick's Day were these foam pieces that I got in a package from Dollar Tree. So that's it. I hope you enjoy seeing it. So what did you think? Let me know in the description box down below what was your favorite part of my coffee bar area. And once again, I would like to thank Dana and Dee for hosting this challenge. I hope you will go check out their channels. And again, if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing by clicking on the subscribe button down below or the icon in the corner of this video. I do post several videos a week on how to creatively manage and decorate your home, including seasonal decor videos like this one. Thanks again for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing all of you next time. Happy decorating, everyone. Bye-bye.